Hi, Lilia here from Heal Scotland. Want to talk to you today about stress levels, panic attacks, anxiety, the vagus nerve, and how um, we can manage all of that, and how, why, um, when we are in these states of high stress all day long, we can really depress our immune system and affect our ability to have a peaceful, beautiful day. So let's talk about the vagus nerve first. Vagus is the Latin name for wonder, and it goes from the base, just under the occipital bone there, all the way down to the root of your spine, and it wanders into all your internal organs. And so it sends information and it receives information. And it really is also known as the social nerve. So when you, when somebody smiles at you and you smile back, there's a response, a reaction maybe, or a response to the external stimulation. Maybe you see a beautiful view and it lights up your face. So that nerve is participating in all of that as it's participating when you start to believe your thoughts. If you believe a negative thought, if you've been told really negative news by a doctor or a specialist or maybe a partner um, or somebody giving you information that you don't really like, it makes you feel scared or upset or insecure, the vagus nerve plays a big part on that. Now, let's talk about the digestive system because we all know when we feel fear or anxiety, we feel it in our gut. Sometimes lower down in the gut, sometimes higher up. It depends, really. I'm not going to go into that now, but that's where all your digestive organs are. So if you're continuously sending negative information into your digestive organs, guess what happens? Your digestive system is affected. Now, with all the different um, digestive issues that we have from ulcerative colitis, IBS, Crohn's, ulcers, candida, blah, 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 the list goes on and on and on. These conditions that are chronic in nature that just really take your edge off your vitality and your happiness and your joie de vivre, um, that you just want to get up in the morning, jump out of bed and participate in this thing we call life. Well, I know I have not been feeling like that for the last few months. And I'm, if you live in Scotland and you've been inside with the weather being bad and the, the, the light, just no light has not been non-existent for most of January and February. Um, it can really drag your mood down. And when you become more, like we're meant to hibernate a little bit more in the winter. When we start to kind of hibernate, we do less things. We have less energy. Our digestion's a bit more sluggish. But in today's crazy way of living, we do not have the time to say, Look, you know, I need to sleep a bit longer. Because the demands of living in this so-called developed world just don't allow us to listen to the body anymore. We're, we're going against the circadian rhythm. We're going against our natural rhythms. We're going against the natural cycles. And we are cut off from the very energy sources that we need, i.e. fresh air and light. So with that in mind, how can we circumvent um, the stresses of modern life and the lack of nature in all its glory um, and try and reverse this kind of anxiety state which can lead to panic attacks and can lead to all sorts of disorders. And people own their anxiety. I hear that a lot. My anxiety. And that can exacerbate your problem. So do not own it because you are not the body. <laughs> The body is going through things, it's having, it's programmed and it's having responses and reactions to your external and internal environment, i.e. what you're thinking, what you're believing about your thoughts, what you're believing about your emotions and all the triggers that we have in our everyday world. So let's get to it. If we are being put in for whatever reason into a state of fight or flight, a state of stress, what can we do about it? Well, we can go for a walk, simple and basic, go out into the fresh air and breathe consciously. And let's do it right now. Do the four, seven, eight breath, which is just is so simple and so easy that maybe you will not be able to believe that repeating this twice a day, every day for six weeks will impact your life in a way you never dreamed possible if you're anxious. But the big thing is that you have to do it. 
when you start taking responsibility for your health, you realise that nobody else can fix you apart from you. Other people can help you and support you 100%. That's why we have to pull together. But you are the one that has to make the decision. And I understand that the way I've been feeling over the last couple of months, I've not felt like that in a long time, really struggling to be have any form of enthusiasm for life. <laughs> Going through the paces, I'm laughing because I really never thought I would visit that place again, but I have. And it's heavy, it's heavy in your chest. You can feel it. I just, I had to really force myself to go in the water. I had to choose a few protocols that could keep me sane. The breathing for me is the, the one and letting go, obviously, are the, are the techniques that I find easiest and quickest to completely change my state. But you have to keep on doing them because sometimes the negative thoughts and the negative feelings and the day-to-day -day stressors and dramas that all of us are subjected to well, that, they're just there. It's just the way it has to be right now. It will pass, but sometimes it doesn't feel like it's going to pass. So you just, we have to find a way to manage it because um, pills and drugs and surgery um, are not the long-term answer to our lifestyles as we have it right now. So the four, seven, eight breaths, brilliant way to change your state instantly, even before you meditate, before you do your breathing, I just do this and just really recalibrate, calm myself down, get this weight, this feeling off my chest and just relax. So just do it with me. Breathe in for four, hold for seven and breathe out through the mouth for eight with your tongue behind your teeth. So it's really simple. In, hold and out. In, hold, and out. And in, hold, and out. And in. Hold and out. Does that not feel nicer? So you can do that. You can keep going. But when you just start, just give yourself that target. Four of these in the morning and four of these at night. Really, really simple. Don't tell me you can't fit that in. We all can. And what if you think about it, you're retraining the body. And instead of sitting down and trying to do a one hour breathing session, you're just doing these two very short breathing exercises that you can easily fit into your what is probably already a really busy schedule. So that's one very quick, fast, free tip that you've just had, but you still need to do it. And remember the 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 loud and clear message from Heal Scotland and the loud and clear message if you watch the podcast I did with Sally Gray yesterday is that all these things are free. This belief that you need to be rich and you need to be able to go to different countries and different retreats etc. None of that's true. I'm not saying don't do it. It's fun and I do it because I enjoy it and I enjoy meeting like-minded people. But the reality is all this power is inside each one of us and nobody really wants us to know that because then they can't make money out of us. Anyway, 478, put that into your daily schedule. Download our app, please, because Facebook is really censoring what we're doing now. You're not allowed to talk about all the free stuff <laughs> because Big Pharma is pulling all the chains and the strings at the behind. So we need to really understand that. It's not a conspiracy theory, it's a thing. It happened to me this week. They pulled down the posts around vitamin D and uh, single-use plastics. Why? Because the millionaire, billionaires, um, don't want you to know that stuff because that's how they make their money. It's not a conspiracy theory. It's just a thing. Take away their power by taking back our power. Right, so you've got 478. Dead simple, free and easy. Teach your kids, your auntie, your granny. I've got everybody in my life going on about breathing. It is your key to life. 
it is your, that's if you don't breathe, you don't live. That's how you oxygenate the body. That's how you expand the cells. You oxygenate your incredible brain. Breathing, I cannot believe nearly six decades on this planet before I fully, fully understood and experienced the power of the breath. And we're going to be doing a Breathe Week, Heal Scotland Breathe Week. So look out, download the app, like the page, keep in touch, and we'll help you every step of the way. So 478. Then what else can we do? EFT, again, really, really easy, free teach your kids. It's a simple case of tapping. You're tapping on the meridian system, which is an energy system that runs all the way through the body. The acupuncture, acupressure, Chinese medicine is used for millennia. And of course, we didn't believe it until we could see it. In 1992, there was a scan that lit up the meridian system. So now we know it's real. But clearly, it always has been. We're just a bit slow catching on because we're so materialistic in our views of the world. So tapping on these meridians, our negative false beliefs get stuck in these energy centers. So just start tapping like this. Don't even say a word yet. Just start tapping on these energy points underneath the eye. Really pay attention to your body. How is it feeling? Is energy moving? Do you feel stupid? Do you not believe that this could work? Is your mind too stuck in the past to believe that something this simple, what tapping your body and saying things can get you miraculous results? No, maybe you don't feel that you're worthy enough. Maybe they don't feel secure enough. Maybe you want to know the science. Maybe you're not going to try this. Maybe you've got all these limiting beliefs. Well, it might work for you, but it won't work for me. It doesn't really matter what limiting stories and beliefs that you've been holding. Just keep tapping. See how you feel. There's your evidence right there. How are you feeling? Okay, just stop now and then just take a nice deep breath. Can you feel any different? You're probably noticing a tiny little bit of a difference. You might not be though, because if you're very in your head, it can take a wee while to practice this stuff. But even if you've noticed a tiny, tiny difference, that's you understanding that you can change how you feel when you decide you're not a victim of your thoughts. You're not a victim of your feelings, your emotions. You can change them. And that is your first step to freedom. So before we finish, one more powerful technique. Close your eyes. What can you feel in your body? What is there? Scan from the top of your head, through your forehead, down through your throat, into your chest, belly, all the way down to the base of your spine. What sensations, energy is there? Feel it. Heal it. The body doesn't speak to us in words. Body speaks to us in feelings. What is your body trying its best to tell you? When you come out the head and away from the neat, 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 and just come in, talk to it, change your relationship with these cells, welcome everything that's there, and just let it go. Set it free. Take a second off. Let all your worries and fears go. 
no. Okay, so that's three quick, powerful, scientifically proven ways that you can change how you feel. And now all you have to do is practice, 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 repeat, repeat, repeat until you get good at it like anything. You want peace? You want peace every day? You want to teach your kids how to be peaceful? Practice and repetition is the name of the game. Ciao. Have a great one.